Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here. I'm going to show you a Twitch chat overlay for your Twitch overlay. This is my new Twitch overlay that I've been working on. Um, I went to get a decent chat feature on there so people could see the chat and I actually have a overlay from um, what's the program called now? From from one second Overwolf, that's the one. Um, Overwolf actually lays a Twitch chat over my screen, which I can out out of people to see, but it doesn't look that nice. Um, I just like it being there so that I can see and actually reply while I'm in game, um, rather than you know always using my voice. Sometimes I don't have a mic on. Sometimes I'm just playing. Uh, you know, it, it's just nice for me to see the chat as well. Um, but it doesn't look that nice. So I wanted a nice looking one that had a clear background without going into having a chat window open and not having the games in full screen. It just seemed a lot of messing about to me. So I found um, a plugin for OBS on the OBS plugin site. Um, I'm gonna have to switch to desktop catcher on this, sorry. The screen's gonna go all infinite for a second, so there we go, I'll get off there. Uh, this is the yet another Twitch chat uh, plugin. Um, basically, you download the plugin, you extract it to the OBS download. So I'll download it, I'll show you how we extract it. It's very small, so obviously, it downloads very quick. Um, we open yet another twi uh, Twitch chat plugin. Uh, obviously you open your operating system x86 for 32 bit x64 for 64 bit which i obviously have and we have cll our host and cll our host plugin dll you open your um file location for obs open your plugins folder and you just simply click and drag those into there as you can see i've got the clr plugins there if you open the clr plugin you have yet another switch chat there so these are the two files that you have in there I've got another two of the source plugins which I'm not sure if you need or not but it's I use those for other overlays at the moment so let's get this desktop capture thing off there as you see here's my yet another twitch chat I'll delete this and re-add it so add yet another twitch chat I'll leave it as it is. Um, I set this box to 500 high. This is in pixels, by the way. 300 wide. You set your user in lowercase, uh, which is fill underscore gen. And your password is actually your Twitch key. I've realized I've took the desktop capture off, so sorry about that. Give me one second. There we go, it's back on. Um, so you're gonna have to put up with this annoying thing for a moment. So we've got add, get another Twitch chat. Okay, uh, obviously, we'll just go, Jen, carry on from here. Um, yeah, uh, your password is your Twitch authentication key, which it gives you a link on the another Twitch chat plugin file. So you click on there. So obviously it says uh, as of September 17th, 2015, blah, blah, blah. Um, connect with Twitch. I will blur this out so nobody can see. I don't have to uh, log in again. So we copy it. And then we paste it into the password field. Um, you can set your font, your text size, your background, and your foreground. Uh, I left these as they were, I set my font to 24, I think. And then we click OK. I think I should be able to get rid of this, not that. Get rid of the weird thing. Right. Um, I'll edit the scene, I'll drag it down to the bottom corner. I don't know how much of this you guys will actually be able to see, but I will stick this back on again. I'm sorry, it really annoys me. It does my head in looking at that thing. Um, we'll go to Twitch chat. 
video, 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 which when it loads up. Um, I'll log into our chat room here. So we got chat. Over here on, so we got test, test, test. The one thing it doesn't actually do, which I'm kind of upset about, is we can't put any um, of the smileys in. It just adds the text as it is there. So as you can see in the Twitch chat, it shows up as different things. So if we go back to OBS here, here's the test, test, test. I will get rid of the desktop capture. In fact, that should be a lot bigger. Let's uh, edit that there. No, I didn't edit the width and size. So we edit it to 300 wide, 500i. Okay, it has added some of them. As you can see, I will get rid of the desktop background. Hopefully you can see this. It, the heart there isn't on, the test, 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 and things are. So that is how I do my Twitch chat overlay, which I think I'll have just about there. So whenever people chat, they, they can see it in my overlay and that's it guys, thanks for watching, I'll add the links to the description down below of where you can get your authentication key and where you can download um, the yet another Twitch chat. Uh, sorry about the infinite background because it was the only way I could see of recording that for you without downloading yet more software to record my screen. I hope I helped somebody out, I hope other people can use this, uh, the development of this has been great. It's going to help out a lot. It's going to help me increase my uh, quality of the stream. So if you like the video, click the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Um, if you jump onto Twitter, we're on Twitter as well. Uh, we'll, we'll post to Twitter whenever we're streaming so you can uh, get the first update of when we're online. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you around.